for me, I was over, almost overwhelmed when I came to Milwaukee of how the arts faculty and students reached out to me as the Dean of the College of Engineering Applied Science uh, to be part of what of some of the initiatives we wanted to be you know, going forward with. And right. I can just, I can't describe it any other way that I really do think that we can make it a huge impact on the region in developing talent because I always tell the students, from, particularly in the classes that I teach, that as long as they're creative and innovative, they're always going to have an important place in the workforce. Right. All of our educational programs, mm -hmm. both engineering and the arts school, haven't traditionally worked together that much. For different sides of the brain typically lose the thinking. But what we find is when we get these students together and working on problem solving real world you know, projects, only great things happen. Right. And I don't think I was ever even in the engineering building for the first 20 years on this campus. <laughs> and, uh, and we just began to discover, I think higher ed in general, that interdisciplinary teaching and learning is really the way to go for the future. Those mm -hmm. silos aren't going to work for the future, whether it's for education or for jobs or for just the, the world itself. Because we have a case where technology is changing so quickly that there's no really way to prepare students today for the technologies that are going to be out there. So the best way to prepare them is to give them problems where they work in multidisciplinary teams, which is really going to be you know, what they're going to be doing in the future. Through industrial design, that engineering and the arts are, are, have always been related in some way, but it's kind of been going from one thing to the other and rather separated. And I think getting the students to do this early on is just a, a great way to go. And one of the things that traditionally engineering students, we've not you know, educated them in is their communication skills. And one of the great things about teaming the artists with the engineers together is artists, that's what they do, is they're, they're very right. good communicators. They're used to presenting their ideas. And so yeah. for the engineers, what a great skill set for them to have going forward to be able to present their ideas in a, right. in a really yeah. professional way. Well, the Harmony Initiative is the Milwaukee Ballet and Freighter, the medical college, and the, uh, the sports medicine there, and our uh, arts department in our, our Peck School of the Arts at UWM. And it's really an initiative to try to bring those things together. And I think it's very similar to engineering and, and design. It's bringing those things together so that there's education and that education feeds into the, the professional arts. And then if you look at the, at the medical side of that, of course, you know, dancers like you know, any other, they're like athletes, they are athletes. And to bring that into it too. And I think that, that that could be a really great opportunity, again, to promote that arts in the city and to promote this interdisciplinary it could be the, the, you know, the health sciences, the, the medical college, the b ballet, the Peck School of the Arts, and really develop something that is bigger and better and different than other cities. Yeah, and I think it's another great example mm -hmm. uh, by taking the region's strengths and partnering together to make something that's bigger than the sum of the parts. Right. I mean, exactly, exactly that. Well, I, I think they want to have their students really locked into that professional world and learning early on both about their bodies and medical, uh, you know, the wellness part of that, the preventive part of that, but also to feed into this just the, the professionalism so that there's just that, that interlocking of the students going right into the professions, which I think more and more is so important. And again, I think it's again getting real world experiences for both our faculty and students become very important to what we're trying to right, accomplish. Right. So it's, again, it's, it's an additional opportunity that we right. have to better prepare our students for the future. Right, kind of that seamless growth from student to professional. We're starting our Design Research Institute and this is a, a, really has a, a threefold goal of this. It's to promote creative research and interdisciplinary research on campus and in the area. So I think, uh, you know, we're, we've been talking with engineering and they'll, they'll be a partner in this architecture. I mean, really, it's almost every school and college in the university. And also uh, to promote entrepreneurialism in students. I mean, we, it's not so much going out to get a job as learning how to create a business that you can use your creative skills. And then, of course, to educate students. I mean, again, that kind of seamless thing we were talking about with the, with the a New Harmony Initiative is just to get that students right, you know, working right with professionals all the way through and then keeping them here in Milwaukee. I mean, that's a real goal for me is to keep them here and make this a real hub of, of creative 
engineering business opportunities with the arts. And it also, from our point of view, makes a place for the rest of the arts. So the you know ballet thrives uh, when there's an audience for it, and people want to come to a city when there is a good art scene. Uh, the same with you know music, symphonies, whether it's a small theater. You know, I mean, all of those things, art galleries, museums, all of those things tie in together to make a place where the engineers and the business people, those those young professionals, want to come and, and live. So I think it's it's a win-win from all sides. And then we're also in talks about a jobs incubator at UWM. Uh, we've been uh, working with the Sprinkler Group and they've uh, been volunteering uh, with some of our students with internships and now they're very interested in promoting this jobs incubator and bringing engineering and, and the arts together there too. Well I think there's something that's very unique about Milwaukee and that is, is that there's such a density of engineering firms here. We have 13 engineering firms here with the third uh, biggest engineering center in the whole country. And so that presents a tremendous opportunities for the idea generation and taking things forward in terms of products and processes. It's also an arts hub. You know, when you think about Milwaukee, what a great place. If, if, if I was an artist, this would be one of the places other than you know, maybe one of the big cities on the coast. Right. <laughs> this is a really great place to be. And so we really have a unique opportunity where we have this density of engineering. We have a really strong tradition of the arts that we really can do things like this together. Yeah. I would, I would just echo that too. I mean, we know that our students are saying, you know, I never really wanted to stay in Milwaukee, but, but now that I'm here in the city and, and working in the arts, I really want to, I really want to stay here. And, and I think that we have all the makings to make a really good design hub here in, in the Milwaukee area. I think if you look at Chicago, Milwaukee, to Madison, to the Twin Cities, we could make this area the same kind of place as Silicon Valley was to computers. I really, I really believe that we have a history of design and engineering together. If you look back at Brooke Stevens, who was one of the, the key early industrial designers, you know, taking art into, into the early manufacturing. Uh, Harley Davidson is here, Kohler is here. I mean, there are key companies that really believe in design and the product. And I think that putting those two together, we could really come up with something great. Within the Institute for Industrial Innovation, the courses we teach are not structured similar to a typical class that we would have on campus. It's very open-ended. Uh, the students spend a lot of time outside of class working together in the team you know, to create right. the products and processes. Right. So it's not like we give them an assignment out of a book and they solve it. We give them a very open-ended problem. And the design space of solutions is, is huge. And they, what we teach them is how they navigate all the potential solutions to come up with a, a innovative new product. Right, and that's the design thinking that we're promoting with the Design Research Institute, that design methodology of looking at a problem in a different way so that you might have 10 right answers and then take those right answers and find the very best one from that. And so yeah. I think that that's an important part. Yeah, in a traditional engineering you know, course, the, the knowledge is taught very linearly. You teach one topic after another. Whereas in the type of courses we're talking about, it's very nonlinear. We're constantly looping back, looking at big picture ideas and coming down to the details and going back and forth. Yeah. Which is what we do all the time in the arts. <laughs> uh, students think way out of the box. People think, well, you know, undergraduate students, they really can't accomplish a lot. But the, the bottom line is they really can and they do. And when I was in Pittsburgh, we had eight companies formed out of the Product Innovation Institute that I started there. And so you get the new ideas. The second thing is, is talent development for companies. They sponsor these projects. They work with these uh, okay. students for four months. And they see the leaders and they're being trained in a product that directly impacts their company. So they actually hire a lot of the students that are working on on right. the class itself. And for us, what better way to teach our students than to give them real world products to be working on? So right, it's the it's experience they get, you know, so when they enter the workforce, they're going to be a lot more productive, a lot faster because they right. already have this experience. And from the arts point of view, it's not everybody. Some artists still want to be painters or sculptors or, you know, they still want to do that kind of work for museums and galleries. But we have a third of our 1,000 students in the Department of Art and Design who want to be in design in some way. And they're, they're looking at it in a different way. And uh, so we're, we need to educate students for the future. We can still do the other part of that. But uh, I think that part of this, too, is opening up the door to business to understand how arts can play a role in this to actually make their better their businesses better too. The partnerships we've created are really to support those things to try to bring in not only um, get new ideas created but also bring in federal money you know right. in terms of grants mm -hmm. and other things right. and by partnering together you know we then become big and strong enough that we can compete nationally for some of the funds that are out there. Right. 
for us to just continue to do this and continue to get the word out with the innovation center they have at uh, in the engineering and our design research institute. I you know hope that we're you know we're at that table also, but I also hope that the other schools and, and the other universities in the area are too, and bringing in businesses. I think that if we can work creatively together we're much better off than than apart so i i think that it really needs that kind of that kind of stamp of the city not just you know the, uh, us doing it but but we're doing it in partnership with the with the with the businesses in the area i think a fantastic future here and we're we're on the right path for the for that future and i'm i'm very confident and very optimistic about it yeah and i would just want to say that you know, we have more Wisconsin residents, you know, on our campus than any other school in the state. Right. And 92 percent of our graduates stay in Wisconsin. And so this is that's why we need to play a very big role in creating this new you know, creative economy. So.